For Brussels, it seemed quite evident that we needed a way to uh, minimize our environmental impact, so the imports and the exports, but also to create local jobs. So we need to find a way, how can we put together the environmental mitigation and reduction um, with the job creation. This is why Brussels really thought that circular economy could help uh, put together these uh, sometimes conflicting aspects. So urban metabolism is really one of the key aspects to make cities more circular because urban metabolism helps you to understand what are the flows entering and the flows exiting. So therefore, if you want to make flows circular, you need to know what comes in and what goes out and in which quantities. Now, measuring the entering and exiting flows is not enough. You need to understand your system, your city, much more uh, in depth than that. So you need to understand who is consuming, where are we consuming, why are we consuming, what are the drivers behind that. And therefore, urban metabolism really puts some um, systemic understanding behind the flows. The data that are the most um, easy to get are the ones of water and energy flows. This is because you have meters in your house uh, because we consume a certain amount and this is built directly to the grid operators or to the energy or water suppliers. For other flows such as materials it's much more difficult because you don't really know um, how much we import and how much we export. you can have circular economy from an industrial point of view. However, and what's interesting and exciting in this domain is that, uh, well, we're not gonna use the same type of system, economic system and economic practices we're currently using. Uh, we need to um, understand and define new ways of doing things. So innovation is key. And then perhaps a third aspect which seems very important is to create enough uh, knowledge and enough people that are convinced that the circular economy is important. Uh, but also you need, let's say, a more general um, educational aspect, which is raising, raising awareness. Why it's so important to move towards a more circular economy, why it's so important to reduce our consumption. All of this needs to be, um, you know, uh, implemented across all of the different levels of training and education, I think. need to shift the thinking of a, let's say, company to national scale of circular economy to a more local one where the challenges are very different and we need to find a way to combine them. So by thinking which type of companies or which type of trainings we should have uh, locally, then automatically it could also bring in new jobs that are not existing here. Or if we define new consumption patterns, uh, that are more sustainable for our footprint, then automatically it could also reduce the, our environmental footprint. It could create new types of jobs that will implement them. But I really think that if we address correctly this uh, question of consumption, it will also have a, a huge impact on our quality of life and the values that we have for our society. <music>